Hi, welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is going to be quite short because it is the final of the mouthpiece shootout. Now remember what I said, this is not entirely scientific, this is just a judgement on the mouthpieces, the eight tenor saxophone mouthpiece that I had in my drawer and I wanted to put them together to try and see what you guys thought by listening to them only, not kind of seeing them, not hearing reviews or anything else like that. Just me playing these mouthpieces on the same saxophone with the same reed into the same microphone with the same EQ settings and what did we come up with? They range from cheap off the shelf mouthpieces to extremely expensive vintage mouthpieces and today is the final. Now the two mouthpieces I'm going to play are not going to be revealed until the next vlog so make sure you are subscribing and make sure you vote. Now I'm going to run the vote here on YouTube, also on my Twitter feed and also on Instagram. If you can avoid the old Northern Irish maxim of voting early and voting often that would be great but it would be just nice to have one vote for each person on, on one platform. Next week I'll reveal the winner and I'll also go through which mouthpiece played off against which mouthpiece and kind of give you the results. Now I label the mouthpieces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for the quarterfinals, A, B, C, D for the semi-finals and I'm kind of just going to go for mouthpiece 1 or mouthpiece 2. These do not correspond to the mouthpiece 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for the quarterfinals. These are separate new labelings. Uh, the mouthpieces that went through are, drum roll please, with 77% of the vote in the first semi-final mouthpiece A goes through quite convincingly but with the second one, mouthpiece C versus mouthpiece D, it is a dead split, dead heat. 50-50 after four days of voting, over 250 votes cast. So in the good old tradition of the British parliamentary democracy system, yeah, don't go there right now, um, but the speaker gets the casting vote. Calm yourself, man! The lion must get back in its den! So my vote is gonna be cast for mouthpiece C. So we are gonna end up with mouthpiece A versus mouthpiece C in the final. Uh, mouthpiece 1 versus Mouthpiece 2. No, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's go back to Mouthpiece A and Mouthpiece C. It's going to be easy. Ignore what I said before. I could always edit that out, but then you want to see my thought process. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
hoping that camera's sticking to where it should be. Off to teach uh, Saturday afternoon jazz class. Those mouthpieces, it's been an interesting, it's been an interesting project. I'm definitely gonna aim to do one for the Alto and maybe even the Soprano if I can get enough mouthpieces together. So if you're a mouthpiece manufacturer and you're watching this, and you feel confident enough in your product that it could be in the mouthpiece shootout, then by all means send it over to me. Moaning Mini. I don't think we're going to be able to build it like that. Oh, Now there's part of me that objects to the fact that seven-year-olds are getting homework, I think that's out of order. And I object to the fact that I'm the one who has to do most of it, because at the end of the day, if it's his homework, he should be able to do it. And if we want to make a project together, that we should, should be something that we choose to do, rather than what school would make him do. But that's my little point for now. Make sure you've voted on those mouthpieces and I'll reveal the results to you later on uh, next week, probably Wednesday, Thursday time. Uh, maybe if I get a chance, I'll do it as a live vlog. We'll just see. Um, but anyway, we're going to carry on making our castle. Castle? Is it a castle or a castle? Castle. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.